Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca and on this channel I talk about anything that has to do with yoga and I have some practices here too for you. Today I want to talk about, I want to compare two yoga mats. Two of what I think are probably the top yoga mats like the Cadillac of yoga mats, not your cheap yoga mats. This is not economy yoga mat discussion. This is for somebody who is ready to get rid of the cheap plastic yoga mat. You know what I'm talking about, right? And the one that's like a slip and slide. You're ready to get rid of this mat and invest in something better. Stay tuned because this video is for you. Today, I'm going to compare the life form yoga mat to the Manduka, I think it's the pro. I'll have links down below. So for starters, um, I say these mats are okay if you just aren't sure if you like yoga yet, um, but I wanna show you the difference of what it looks like when you're doing the practice. Okay, let's see if there's enough room here. So I'm gonna lay this one out. I'm gonna flip it over. I hate when the ends curl up. Just can't have the ends curl up. Okay. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like next to a life form yoga mat. This is my, all right, this is a life form yoga mat. You can see when it's rolled up, it's pretty small. It is dense though, and so it's, it's heavy, okay? I will say that. But uh, look at the difference when you're practicing on the mat. I think you can see these side by side here. All right, so I'm gonna do a down dog on this yoga mat. Now, I am small. I'm a tiny person. I'm only 5'1", and this is what it looks like when I'm in down dog on the yoga mat. Okay, I've got plenty of room lengthwise, but my shoulders, I like to have them broad in down dog, and so my pinkies, um, if I'm being honest, my, the outer edges of my fingers my outer two fingers are on the floor, right? I don't like having my hands in here. It feels like I'm squishing my ears and it's, it gives me a sore upper back. All right, and I'm little. Now come over to the Cadillac of yoga mats. It's just two inches wider and looky looky. Okay, everything stays on the mat. Another yoga mat that makes a nice wide width mat is the Manduka. I think this is called the Pro, I don't know. But you can see how thick it is when it's rolled up. This is also very heavy, and I feel like it might be heavier than the others. So we're just gonna get this out of the picture because I just wanted you to see. But it doesn't really matter because you're not gonna use it anymore. You're gonna buy a real yoga mat, okay? Here's the Manduka. All right, the size is exactly the same, but it's, it's a little bit, it's different, okay? Um, I, it is sticky, but when it gets, when you get sweaty, um, it becomes slippery. This one, I find, is a little bit different. You have to keep it cleaner in order for it to be sticky, but I'm gonna bring this up close so you can see what it looks like. You can see this is like, it's smooth, right? And the other side of it is that open cell rubber. I don't know if you can see it very well here. I don't know. And then along that, so you can see how it's two layers. So you can never flip it over. You can only, I mean, I suppose you could. You can use this other side because there are yoga mats that are this open cell rubber. Um, the only problem with the only open cell rubber is it's hard to clean. I love these mats because they clean off really well and yeah who doesn't like a clean yoga mat right all right so all right that's sacrilegious i can't just leave a yoga mat in a pile i'm gonna have to roll it up now the manduka has a different surface to it can you see that and it's a little bit it's bumpy bumpy and the other side has the circles. So you've got two sides that you can use. Um, I think this one is not as sticky, the circle side. Um, this side seems to be a little bit stickier, 
But the, the downside with the Manduka is that there's a, there's a period in the beginning that needs to be broken in and there's um, like a, you have to wash it to get the film off of it or else it's like slippery slip and slide. So it comes from the manufacturer with some shiny stuff on it. However, if you buy a Manduka yoga mat, you are likely never going to buy another yoga mat. They last forever. Here's the Manduka, all right? Here's how, here's the size of it. I think you can see that. Here is the life form. I'm really not sure which one's heavier. This thing is like solid. I feel like I could hit somebody with it and knock them out. But they're exactly the same size. They're both high quality mats. I prefer the life form only because I like the smooth surface and the fact that I can clean it and I know it's clean. I also like the fact that it's got the, the alignment indicators on it. For me and my type A personality, I like to know that everything is perfectly in the right place. I know, I know. And uh, anyway, that's my take on it. Um, I've only had this mat for a year, so I don't really know the longevity but I can tell you that I use it on a daily basis and it still looks like it's brand new. It's, it's like moderately worn and I do clean it quite a bit. So that being said, um, it's my favorite. I like the way it feels. I like it's nice and smooth and it's sticky. When I say sticky, it, my hands and feet don't slip. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helps you answer some questions. And I do know that this comes with quite a price tag, but I love it so much. I think you will too. All right, see you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. See ya.